from Hollywood blockbusters produced down under to much anticipated Aussie movies, there's no shortage of smash hits being shot here. Richard Wilkins takes us through what 2016 has in store in entertainment. From Mad Max to The Dressmaker, 2015 was a massive year for Australian films. 2015 was a record in dollar terms, which is about $88 million, so a spectacular result. 2016 is set to be another enormous year for our local industry. The first film to hit the big screen on Australia Day, Richard Roxburgh's Looking for Grace. Grace? Where do you think you're going? Grace! Out next month, an all-star cast led by Jared Butler, Gods of Egypt. Set has taken over Egypt and enslaved its people. Only one god can save us. We also have Sherpa, due out in March, the tragic tale of the deadly 2014 avalanche on Mount Everest that killed 16 guides. We, Sherpa people, have a great respect for that mountain. It's a documentary maker who, who went to the Himalayas. While she was there, there was a major avalanche. For there to have been a camera there while this was happening, it's going to be amazing to see what film and what story comes out of that. Anthony LaPaglia will star in the Aussie drama A Month of Sundays, out this April. Something interesting happened to me. Oh, well, sweetheart, it's your mother. Mum. Didn't your mum... Yeah, late last year. Pass away, yeah, I remember you saying. It was just the wrong number. She sounded like she might be an interesting person. It's for you, Frank. Who is it? It's Freud. It's wonderful to see Anthony coming home. He's worked here off and on, but obviously He's become a huge star in the US. And I think Month of Sundays is a really beautiful piece of work. And later in the year, the film Mel Gibson returned down under to shoot the World War II epic Hacksaw Ridge. It's fun, it's fun. Uh, you know, very little has changed. In fact, even some of the people I'm working with now, I remember working with like 30 years ago. And we'll see a sequel to the hugely successful Red Dog. That's out on Boxing Day. Are you lost? Do you need water? <sighs> Cheeky bugger. With all the success Aussie films have been having, it's no surprise Hollywood is heading our way to shoot their biggest blockbusters, awesome. bringing a bunch of A-list movie stars to our shores. The prequel, Alien Covenant, will see Michael Fassbender filming with legendary director Ridley Scott in Sydney in March. How far would you go to get what you came all this way for? Your answers. What would you be willing to do? With Alien Covenant, it looks like Ridley Scott is going to finally you know, head back into the Alien universe. There's going to be things popping out of stomachs, and let's face it, we all love that about an Alien film. And Tom Hiddleston's rumoured to be hitting the Gold Coast to film Kong Skull Island. The Gold Coast is definitely going to be Hollywood 2.0 for a while this year. And of course Chris Hemsworth is heading home to shoot the next instalment of Thor. I'm incredibly excited to be coming back home to work and I look forward to introducing my Marvel friends to this beautiful country of ours. And another famous Aussie looks set to join the cast. It's believed Kate Blanchett will be playing the role of the villain although she's keeping her lips tightly sealed. I heard you are going to be in uh, the next Thor movie. Is that true? Yes, Chris Hemsworth is busy, and, and um, <laughs> you know, so I've been working out. Uh, yeah, you've got to be a realist, and I think that's probably fair enough, too. Kate Blanchett, pumping <laughs> iron. Nice stuff. Now, come